Shaggy came out and says, are you ready, Auntie Moy? And I said, yeah. So he came down and, you know, I said, um, would you like to drive my car? Because my car burned better gas. Yeah. It was not the transportation why I wanted him to take me. It was because he knows the place better than I do and I don't know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. So when he came, the young lady came and she slammed the door. I, for all day, I was saying, what happened? I didn't know. I came, when I came back, I went upstairs and I asked her what was going on. But she shirked at me and she went to her room. But then her parents told me she was upset because I didn't allow Shaggy to have coffee. I found that very strange. And they said she would be upset too. So I went upstairs to talk to her. I says, what is really going on? Because I was shocked, you know, like, but then she made me shock. She told me every clot. The BC and the RC and the F, everything in the world. And she said, oh, you don't know what you did. You don't know what you... And I'm like, I'm, I don't know what I did. I didn't do anything. So I'm, I'm wondering what is going on. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. I want to say big ups to everybody who has been following my YouTube channel, you know, from when I started. I mean, I have a lot of beautiful, lovely family out there. And shout outs to everybody who also sees something wrong and want to correct me. I'm always ready to learn. And uh, today, I want to show you something. You know, it's been a while that I put Miss Moy or Queen Moy on my channel. It's been like, Queen Moy, how many, how many, how many months now have you been on my channel? Long time, long time, <laughs> too long. <laughs> <laughs> too long i know right no, uh no, yes no, because no. you know we are all you know busy doing yeah. one or two stuff and the other day exactly. you were saying you were saying hey Echo, you know your youtube made me popular right you remember you said that yeah. yes yes and it does it did it definitely did yes yes all right. I'm a, and... i don't know how to blog so <laughs> everyone that has known me is because of you oh so shout outs to everybody who has been following my channel, following Auntie Moy, Queen now Queen Moy. Uh, I know some people send me messages and say, hey, Echo, it's been a long time we heard from Queen Moy. What is happening with Queen Moy? So tell us, Queen Moy. I mean, it's been a month, I mean, a few months that we had this discussion, you know, talking yeah. and everything. So what has been happening with you for the past six months? in Ghana, living in Ghana. What has been happening with you? Ghana is still the best for me. I I did well when I chose Ghana. Mm -hmm. So presently, I'm helping, you know, diasporans to get settled. And diasporans are coming by the hundreds. I'm serious. We're coming. Mm -hmm. Whoa. And I, I have a... Um, so I've been working on, you know, helping people to get settled, their land you know, um, their business, getting, you know, things, you know, started. Right. Some people have, you know, questions like, how can I go about this? What do you think about, you know, and I'll do my best to assist. And yeah. it's been working out great. I also have, I have a, a charity foundation. Okay. Um, I'm helping the schools. Some of the schools reach out and I'm doing the best I can. Right. So I'm helping them with blackboards. Um, uniforms, Whoa. school supplies, desk. I was able to seat 40 children in one school with new desk. Um, I gave, it was, I think, 49 uniforms, you know, to one school. I was able to give um, a school in a gendarm clean mm -hmm. water. Now, that's the biggest for me. Okay. For so long, they have been, you know, they've had water, but it wasn't the best water. So we give thanks that we was able to give them water. Right. And also to paint the school, you know. So there are a bunch of things that I've been doing, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm happy. I'm happy doing it. All right. That is, I mean, that is what myself and uh, people who watch my channel and the people of Ghana will love to see, you know. Unfortunately, fortunately, Africa, Ghana is resourced with a lot of natural resources, you know, oh, yeah. and we are yet, we're still in the process of uh, utilizing what we have. So when we have people like you being in Ghana supporting 
helping develop Africa, Ghana, Cape Coast agenda, Masibu to be specific, then big up yourself, Queen Moy. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Now, people who are watching me, I mean, for the past six months, I've had a lot of subscribers over 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Some of them may not know who Queen Moy is. So who is Queen Moy? And where is Queen Moy right now? Well, I'm in my home. And Where? um in Where's your home? Oh, Pan African Village, Cape Coast, Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And who is Queen mm -hmm. Moy? Well, Queen Moy came from is um originally Jamaican, mm -hmm. and she came here on vacation in um December 2021. Okay. November to December 2021, mm -hmm. and uh, fell in love with Ghana. Mm -hmm. and decided to make it my home. And I went back, moved everything, and you know, and this is my home, built my house. And I am still happy with Ghana. Nothing has changed. <laughs> nothing has changed? I mean, there's been... Well, nothing uh -huh. has changed in reference to me living in Ghana. You okay. Know, like maybe some people might think, oh, you know, this happened, that happened, or whatever. But mm -hmm. for me... Mm -hmm. I'll always say Ghana is still the best of the worst. In everywhere in the world, you and I know that you're going to have differences. Okay? Right. You're going right. to have good and bad. You right. understand? Yeah. And so it's for us to come and make the best mm -hmm. of, you know, of the worst. Right. Whatever life gives you. Okay? If you get lemon, make lemonade. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like I like that. If yeah. if light gives you lemon, make lemonade out of the lemon. Make lemonade. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. At least so, you're um, adding something to it. Yes, yes, yes. Right. You know, yes. So um I can't complain about Ghana itself. So so quickly, would you still advise, suggest people? To come to Ghana, whether to visit, whether to stay, whether to invest in businesses, whether to build residential properties or commercial properties. Do you still, would you say that I, Queen Moy, still says that people should come and visit Africa, Ghana to be specific? Oh, definitely. Wow. Definitely. Definitely. It has the potential for so many things. And trust me, Ghana is growing. Mm -hmm. It is growing. Mm -hmm. From when I came, I would consider a short time. Okay? okay. And so many things have happened since. Right. Agenda is being developed. You would be so surprised to see Agenda right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. And where I am, Pan African Village. Yes. A lot of people are coming and they're building. Right. You know, nothing is, you know, it's just getting better. Yeah. It's just getting better. Yeah. Yes. Well, so, I remember when you came in, I think the first time that I met you, it wasn't even planned. I came to uh, Mr. Mr. Len. Uh, Mr. Len. Anytime I get to his <laughs> gate, I'm like, Mr. Len, why well, go and say, the day I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Mr. Len. I remember I came to Mr. Len and I was driving off and then he told me that, do you see that lady over there? She's also building. You know how funny he is? He also building. Yeah. You want to go talk to her? And then I came to you. We did our first video. Yeah. I remember you were looking at getting an Airbnb, which I know is yeah. up and running. Oh, I remember yeah. you wanted to start a business. You opened a, a business in a Sable town. And then you yeah. were doing a lot. What is, what is happening with the business that you set it up? And then your Airbnb, how is it going? Well, it's coming along slowly, to be honest with you. Sometimes, slowly? Yes. Uh, sometimes I will have a, you know, full crew and then, you know, then it slows down, you know, because people are coming, people who stays here, people who are coming to, to build, you know, okay. or to look over their property, you okay. know, or to get their documents or, you know, to do business in reference to, okay. you know, getting themselves settled. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. So, so when you say it's coming slowly, you mean is is going slowly up, increasing, or slowly down, decreasing? Because <laughs> I need to understand. Because a lot of people are watching and they want to come and set up yes. something. 
it's it's i i wish for me i wish mm -hmm. it would go faster okay and of course every business person would want their business you know to take off right you know but mm -hmm. i believe it's it's gonna get there mm -hmm. i'm very hopeful you know and i know it's gonna get there so you know i'm being patient yeah I'm and i know patient. since 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 it's a business that you now started definitely you face some change uh, i mean challenges aside the positive side of it so it, i mean let's let's take it one by one you started a business let's take the business yeah. that was in town it was a jamaican restaurant or something like that it was yeah, I, I, started a meat shop. People, I was yes. a meat shop and then later I had a meat shop first and mm -hmm. then i turned the meat shop in a restaurant okay and then um after being installed it was difficult for me to run the restaurant and I would have to do it myself or else I could not put my name to it if I am not doing the food. If I'm okay. not cooking, no, because you see, um, people used to come from Accra. You believe that? Mm -hmm. People drive from Accra. All the food from Accra come pick it up so it would last them some days. Yeah. But people are coming from all over to buy food. Right. And, I, and until today's date, people would ask me, why did you close it down? Mm -hmm. so it's 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 not easy because of the queenship you know okay. my work yes my work is my work is big your work so is it's big not As... easy. It, my work is big yes yeah. it's big i have to be in Accra quite often mm. you know and then you know dealing with you know the charity foundation right. every time yes and also other you know people call upon me to do you know, official business for them, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, stuff like even the Marcus Garvey Foundation, you know, right. I was called upon. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there are a oh, bunch of bunch. Sometimes I, it's not easy to be at so many places at the same time, but God is good. I'm just happy that I'm able to help. All right, we give thanks. We give thanks and praise because yeah. it's all about the positivity. We want to know what is happening. And definitely, oh. what about the challenges you've been facing as, as a queen mother one? No, I mean, definitely you face some challenges. I, I, and, and, I and. Hope, I hope you have the time uh, for a short time. I'm going to try to make it as fast as possible. I face but one ch big challenge. I have one big challenge that I face. Okay. Um, um, my, my son has some, is their in-laws. My son would watch me on YouTube, he and his family. Okay. And my son has some in-laws who have some friends. Okay. And I met this couple, I met the couple on the 18th of December at an annual event that my, my son-in-law's um, father put on every, every year. Okay. So I was invited and I met this couple, they were, we were sitting at the same table, I think. In Ghana? And that's in Ghana? In, no, no, this that did happen in, in, in um, Florida. Oh, okay. So I met them in Florida, the 18th of December, two, mm -hmm. 2021, when I left Ghana. Right. I went, I went to Florida, and I met them because I went to that event. Right. So um, when I was almost through finishing the apartments upstairs, um, the couple called me and, you know, showed their interest in coming to Ghana mm -hmm. as they see, you know, see how I was progressing. And yes, I've been always encouraging everyone to come to Ghana. So I, yeah, right. so I says, oh yeah, you know, yes, come, yes, it's okay, you can come. And they were expressing to me, you know, the financial situation. So um, she wanted to, they wanted to stay with me, but you know, it's I run a Airbnb, which mm -hmm. is forty U.S. dollars per night okay. for a one bedroom. The two bedroom is 60. So okay. I told her it was for 40, but she's going to be staying here, you know, for a couple of months because mm -hmm. she had, she bought land and, you know, we communicated a little before. So I bought, okay. she sent the money and I bought the land for her and everything. And upon her, uh, um, so the only one time I met them, then I, they were supposed to come, I think it's April sometime, but whatever, it was her birthday. Yeah. So I decided that I was going to put on a party for her. So I oh. put on a party. You remember that party? 
you're you know about this party. So I put on a party for her. It was her seventieth birthday party. And um, so I put a picture, seventieth birthday, welcome to Ghana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I remember I was there. I think I showed the video. Yes. Yeah. yes. So I put the party on, and they assist me with the food, of course, music, and um, the venue and everything was my doing. I did a banner for her. All that was my doing. So I was happy to have them, you know, and to give them a chance in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So she, before she came, she asked me how you know, how could I help her? So I told her how much it was, but it's hard for her to pay 1200 per month. So I asked her, how much can you afford to pay? And she said, she checked out her money. She said, 500. I says, I'll work with you. So that I rented is $500 a month? $500 per month. So I okay. rented to her for 500, you know, per month. And I did ask that she pay me, you know, uh, I think it's two or three months sorry, three months in advance, which she mm -hmm. did. So they came at 3 a.m. in the morning and I went to pick them up at the airport. Okay. But when they came, it was three of them. The daughter, I was meeting the daughter for the very first time in my life. I've never, I, I, we've never met before. So I met her and then I only have one guest room. You know the house, you've been here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I put her in the guest room temporarily. Okay. Because I only have one guest room to accommodate, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do it, you know, permanently. So I did that and she was in the guest room. I was expecting a guest. So I went upstairs and asked if they would, you know, get a bed so she could come upstairs with them because the living room, that little space could really, really hold a bed and it could be they could be comfortable together. Yeah. Yeah. So they asked me if they were supposed to get the bed. And I said, yes, whatever you put in here, when you leave, you take it with you. Mm. And yes. And so, okay, so that was fine. So everybody that they meet, they have met through me. So this guy called Sonny, he mm -hmm. had a driver. His driver was Shaggy. So okay. they've met me before because Sonny met me through you on YouTube. Through me? Okay. Yes, on YouTube. And then he came. And, you know, he brought some people and so, and Shaggy, you know, was his driver. So Shaggy calls me Auntie Moy, you know, and stuff. So mm -hmm. we became good friends. So when these people came, they met, Sonny met, you know, the family. So Sonny had liked the young lady. And so they have a, you know, they went on some dates or whatever, but they were friends. <laughs> and um, he went back to the States. So um, one day, I asked Shaggy if he could take the family to get their Ghana card in Takaradi. Okay. I was supposed to go that day. But what happened, I had, couldn't because of the restaurant. So yeah. I asked him to take me another time. So he came to take me a couple of weeks after. But I have to go very early. He's also a teacher. He teaches at the school not far from here. Okay. In Agenda. Yeah. And so he came the morning. On his arrival, he would go upstairs to greet them. Mm -hmm. So when I was ready, I came out and um, I look upstairs. And then the father, or the stepfather, came out to me and offered, invited me to have coffee. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't, I said, I couldn't have coffee because, you know, I didn't want to waste any time because I have to come back. You know, Takarad is quite a ways. A so distance. I have to come back early. So then um, Shaggy came out and says, are you ready, Auntie Moy? And I said, yeah. So he came down and, you know, I said, um, would you like to drive my car? Because my car burned better gas. Yeah. It was not the transportation why I wanted him to take me. It was because he knows the place better than I do and I don't know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. So but when he came, the young lady came and she slammed the door. I, for all day, I was saying, what happened? I didn't know. I came, when I came back, I went upstairs and I asked her what was going on. But she shirked at me and she went to her room. But then her parents told me she was upset because I didn't allow Shaggy to have coffee. I found that very strange. And they said she would be upset too. So I went upstairs 
to talk to her. I says, what is really going on? Because I was shocked, you know, like, but then she made me shocker. She told me every clot, the BC and the RC and the F, everything in the world. And she said, oh, you don't know what you did. You don't know what you, and I'm like, I'm, I don't know what I did. I didn't do anything. So I'm, I'm wondering what is going on. And so she, her father said to, to her, to me, I need to go downstairs because she's not going to stop. That's the only thing. Nobody tell her to stop. They just said, I need to leave. So I left. Okay, so I leave it be. But I was still in shock because until a few, a couple months ago, I really found out what it was. But all this time, I didn't know what it really was. So I have a, she's blogging and she's using her phone a lot. So she she said her, her, her data was finished. Data is a personal thing. So I couldn't give them data because they were blogging and everything. Data could end up to be more than rent because it depends on how you use the data. Yeah. So, yes. And then she got mad because her data was finished. So she came to me and she said, I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to tell the world about you and I'm going to destroy you. And again, I was shocked. I don't know where this is coming from, but you know what? Michelle Obama says, when they go low, you go high. And I did not disrespect myself. I did not answer. A week after that, I was initiated queen. And so we lived very quietly. No, wasn't talking, just, you know, these issues went sour. And um, I found out, I found out a couple of months ago that she thought I wanted to have an affair or a relationship with Shaggy. Now that was far out of my, I was shocked when I heard, no, I heard, I said, what? You mean all this time, I didn't know what, it, this is what she, she thought I did? But I was really shocked, you know, and I'm saying, this don't make any sense. So she went on and she did post she did, she tore me up on social media. Now, I don't know how to blog. I'm not, on, I don't do these things for myself. I'm really ignorant when it comes to this. Even if you start up one for me, I don't know how to follow up. So I haven't been doing anything, but she's been tearing me up. She's told, she, she tells a lot of lies on me. Um, they talk about money. The parents says they didn't have any money. So she said when on, on their arrival, she said she only had $20,000. Mm -hmm. So I said to her, the only thing I can advise you to do is to build one room, get your plan and build, finish one room if you can, a bathroom and a kitchen, then stay there and then, you know, you can take your time and finish your project. That's the only advice that I was able to give them because the money they said they had could not. But I thought maybe it could work, you know. Mm -hmm. But I have been living in, I mean, she has never stopped and I have never, ever defended myself. I, because you know what, you know what, Echo? Jealousy. This is my quote. Jealousy has no future. No, no cure. Jealousy have no cure. A lie have no future. And the truth don't need no help. So I just depend upon the most high, you know, to clear me. But it keeps, she, she's never going to stop. And then what I realize is that you have a lot of people who gravitate to negativity. So you have people that believe these things. And be because of that, it will also, you know, I am the only, I have a rest, the restaurant down there. It has a bathroom in it, yeah. a bathroom. Okay. And how can you have a restaurant and you don't have a kitchen sink? 
she told she she says that i have a a restaurant with no kitchen sink she says the food is a disgrace to the jamaican cuisine now you have had my food but people i people have paid my fare to go all over this world to cook i am a chef and that's what i do people pay so that didn't bother me because as i said before the truth don't need no help and i'm here long before her another thing another thing echo this young lady is beautiful nice slender nice body pretty face you know how can this young lady nice sweet young lady you know i i really all right, I think the the link is gone, the network is gone, but I'm confused uh, what I'm hearing right now. Cause, um, so I asked what are some of the challenges as a diasporan living in Ghana? And this is a story that she's coming with that. She, she accommodated a family, I think from what she's saying, there were three, and she gave the, their daughter a place in her uh, guest room meanwhile they had i think paid for a room up there and she had a guest so she had to ask the lady to go join their parents in the other room and they had to go to one place in takradi and someone sunny had to come and pick them up but when sunny went sorry about that when sunny went to pick them and they wanted sunny to have breakfast she Queen Moy called Sunny to come down and the lady got angry why Moy didn't want Sunny to take breakfast with them. And that was the beginning. Well, I think I have to bring her back. I don't know what happened. I have to try and bring her back so that we will continue this because I'm I'm surprised at what I'm hearing and everything. You know, it's 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 you see, sometimes we need to have, I mean, I mean, we need to hear the um, both stories. I mean, she's telling me there's, there's some of her challenges with um, what she's up to in a sable and everything. So let me try and bring her back on and then she's going to continue this because I really want to hear what is happening. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. So I realize you went off. So continue with what you were saying. Yes. So I was finding it rather funny, but she says a lot of things trying to really, really destroy me. I have, I've been so hurt. She, I know she, she went and they told my family lies and, you know, people are going to grab. Nobody wants to know the truth. They just, you know, she, she said when she came with money, I borrowed when she came, when they came, I borrowed a thousand U.S. from the mom. And I told her when I would pay it back and I paid it back immediately when I, uh, when, you know, the, I, the guests, uh, I was expecting some guests. When I got the money, I paid them back that thousand that I borrowed. Now, okay. um, for whatever reason, I did not charge for the time that she was in the room for free. Okay. So there are a lot of things, most everything she said, it's not true. They had money. The mother told me they weren't living in their own home because they had rented. So they were having challenges, financial challenges. And I honestly believe that they could have done something here, you know. So that's what I encourage. But whatever it was in, I don't know. what I don't know if their expectations were so high of me that I would come and, you know, be able to take care because I was struggling. I've had my own challenges and I was struggling to finish up. And you know me that I'm not afraid to say I'm broke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I would never, I would never take anything from anyone that does not belong to me. Right. I would never do that. And they did not have what to take. I borrowed that money, and I have no problem saying I borrowed it. But I paid it immediately when I told her she would get it. She got it back. Okay. And <laughs> when I tell my my story, okay. Mm -hmm. As I said before, the truth don't need no help. But I've had problems in my life with people feeding on all these negativity. You understand? And yeah. nobody mentioned, 
that all the good that I, I did, nobody mentioned. And she's not the only one. There's another family. He needed a driver's license. I took him to the DVL place and he paid them for the driver's license. Then he went away telling people that I stole, I overcharged him. I don't have a DVL place here. I took him there. But what happened? He paid. When you go there, you pay to get it, you know, expedited to get it, you know, faster. So you right. pay more. When apparently when he took his wife now, he paid less because he did, you know, he didn't go that route. Mm -hmm. So he's telling people that I rob him, yet he's hugging, eating and drinking for me just the same. So the, it's a shame <laughs> that is our own people. It's my own people. It's the gun. It's not the Ghanians that are trying to destroy me. It's my own people that are trying to hurt me. So I say there are a lot more, but we won't waste any time in that. Yeah, because because um, let me come in a little. Yes, go ahead, honey. Yeah, sorry. Let me come in a little bit. Um, so from all, I asked some of the challenges you're facing and. This is one story of a challenge that you're facing. Has this ever, I mean, the issue with someone posting negative stuff, but has it affected your Airbnb patronage or your, your business? Has it affected it? I believe so at first. I believe it did. I believe it did because um, I don't know what was said, but I it, it did. She really, really went hard on me saying things that I swear on my children's life, my grandchildren's life, and they are my children. Okay? And my life. Whatever I say, it's the God truth. Never. The things that they have done to me, it's unbelievable. I, there's a, a, a friend of, she's a friend of mine, um, her name is Torio. Toya reached out to her and told her that Karma is going to get her for what she's doing to me. She blocked her. So if you are going to say anything about me, she will block you. So it's, it's either you go her way or no way. So, but it's a shame that, you know, people gravitate to the negativity and not all the positive, but I still have more good in my life. I want you to know that. You have people that have been here, that become very close to me, that has not mm -hmm. left me. They, they've, um, they've written um, thank you notes to me that I have framed because of it's like, you know, you can't believe it. But even one guest said to me, I, I thought, because I said, I treat everyone the same. It is true. And she said, but I thought I was special. I said, you know, everybody is special. Another hmm. person said to me, you, you need to know people before you can you, you reach out and do so much. But you know what, Echo? People come to you for help. You don't have the, they don't have the time, and I don't have the time to get to know them at all like that before I yeah. can help them. You need help, you come to me, I help you. It's up to you what you want to do with it. It's between you and your God. If you want to be appreciative or you want to tear me down, it's between you and your God. Not me. Mm -hmm. It's it's so unfortunate that um, you know, like uh, such things will be happening amongst ourselves. Um, I barely want to talk about stuff that are negative, that are you know, yes, that wouldn't encourage people to to be in the motherland to try their best to work out the best they can, and. I hope and pray that, I mean, you've started something beautiful. I hope and pray it goes the way you want it. I hope and pray that whatever the other people are also doing will go well for them. I mean, for them. Yeah. And for you, oh, it will definitely. go well for you. And for me, it will go well for me. But I think Amen. it's it's about time we... we and I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that, you know... Hmm, Auntie Moy, I, I, I was just trying to bring you up so that you tell people what's been going on with you and you have a positive vibe, you know. 
um, it got to a time you were not hearing from me. I know you sent me a message, Echo, why? What have I done to you? You've done nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was I was like, you know, trying to figure out a lot of things. You know, I also have a family. I need to check on them. I need to do this. I have yeah, work to do. I, I need to be doing all that. But it is what it is. I mean, uh, we hope for the better. And one other thing too that I want to say to that is not to you, to all Ghanaians who are watching this, is that we need to yeah. embrace the people that we have invited in. Um, yes. Not everybody is up for somebody's money. Not everybody is up for somebody's benefit. But one way or the other, you wouldn't have everybody to be good or everybody to be bad. Right. It's going to be good so, and bad. Yes. So yes. Uh, I am glad you're moving on. So now, now. Um, what is in for Auntie Moy now? I mean, sorry, Queen Moy, well, forgive me. What is it? What is what is up for you? I mean, uh, we in September before December. What do you have in stock for you know yourself, for the people who look up to you, and for your charity work and your your queenship and everything? What's up with it within the next few months to the end of the year? Well, in agenda, I'm going to be doing a launching of, I've, I've got a hundred acres of land that was given to me to sell with the agenda family. Okay. And it's called now Bofoyena Village Estate. Okay. Now you have an estate. And yeah. I'm going to do the launching soon, which I'll update you on that. All right. And also, I have another 25 acres of land on the main road. The road is very, mm -hmm. very good land for business. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anybody is interested. And um, this is all going for 1,000 U.S. per plot. Okay. And, um, yeah, so I have um, land, you know, elsewhere. But for mm. right now, where we're developing, where we're focusing on right now is agenda. Okay. So working on getting agenda because we want, I want to see agenda, you know, becomes large, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as long as I have something to do with it. And yeah. it's going to happen because right. there are a, a lot of good people you know, are coming. A lot of good right. people are coming. And, um, you know, I have a sister in Georgia and she's she just got here and she's coming along quite fine. She's doing mm -hmm. well. She's coming along quite fine, getting herself situated, you know, and she's got a good spirit and good vibes, you know. That's my sister there, you know. So yeah. I say shout out to Georgia and shout out to Karen and Audrey and all my, you know, and Edgeton and all these I these people that have given me good support you know these are some people that have, you know stand by me you understand wipe my tears when i cry don't worry mm -hmm. about it things are gonna get better you know so yeah you know there's some great people so we will focus on the positive and i was trying my very very best echo not to say tell my story or mention but it's getting really really sickening that you know I have to say something, okay? It's a yeah. lot more, but it's okay. But I have said, you know, for the best part of what I wanted to say, you know, brief. So I will listen to um, Michelle Obama. When they okay. go low, we go high. Aye, straight so up. We'll continue to do that. And, oh, listen. I'm going to be swearing in, and soon I'm going to be a Ghanaian citizen. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh, and another thing I wanted to say before, listen. I want people to know my father is full Chinese. My mother is Irish and my grandmother. My mother is Irish and her mother is maroon, black. You so don't know. I am from three blood, Yes. So I choose the black womb that I came from. Right. So I root for Mother Africa because that's the person who birthed me. Right. So yes, I am not saying I'm not Chinese. I'm who I am. Mm -hmm. But I am living here and I'm supporting my black people. <laughs> I am black. Yes, you are black. I like, I like the color your color of outfit. my skin. Mm -hmm. It's how I feel. It's who I am. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you're welcome. I mean, thank you for being on my channel. All right. Um, I mean, you've heard it for yourself. 
I mean, just trying to catch up with Auntie Moy or Queen Moy. I've been calling her Auntie Moy when I got to know her. You know, maybe I'll be bringing Mr. Lee, um, some people who are in Ghana living their life, whether positive, negative, they will share. And like she said, Michelle Obama said, when they go high, when they go low, go high. Um, I did a video. I had a lot of comments from people who cherish me so much. They are like, Echo, don't respond to negativity. Um, so if that is the case, I'm encouraging thousands of African diaspora who come to Ghana. I'm encouraging you that whatever negative thing that you, you feel that you experience here, go out there and put it on the internet, sell Ghana negatively, sell Kipkos badly, sell whatever badly. I don't care because um, when some of us want to, you know, tackle certain issues in a different way, uh, we are seen as this, but I'm telling you, you can go ahead, make all them videos. I will respond. Yes, think I wasn't going to say that. I will respond if it's really affecting me, affecting my people, affecting Cape Coast Central Region, Ghana. I will respond. Yes, so thousands of you can go ahead and make such videos. I will respond. Yes, and sorry, I see people posting negative comment echo was telling people to come and buy land and now they are showing you the negative side of african diaspora and you are now crying yeah i will cry i'll cry and let them change all right ghana is beautiful africa is beautiful we gotta do what we gotta do so thank you very much for checking on my channel i'll bring a lot of people here we have a discussion it's just like this what else can we do and i'll be in jamaica soon Caribbean, me can't wait to set me foot there and see, yeah, Rastafari. I right. thank you for checking me out. Peace.